Hello and welcome to this edition of the Angels and Destiny show. Why is this show called this? You may ask, so I'll tell you. The accepted meaning of angel is messenger and the accepted meaning of destiny is to make firm establish. So my guests and I bring you messages to establish what you need to know in the present. And also I like working with angels and the calmness they bring. Now in a moment, I will introduce you to my wonderful guest, Sophie Fox. But before that, I'd like to say thank you so much for watching the show live at a later date, as it means a lot to me to connect with like-minded women. Now, if you've never met before, then my name is Ray, and I love to help women to cross roads in their life, heal their past, create their future, and transform their present, so they can take charge of their destiny in the here and now. I'm the founder of Radiant Angel Energy, and I use future life progression, past life regression, angelic Reiki, meditation, angel cards, oracle cards, and hypnosis to help women who feel lost get clear on their reason for being here. And I've also created a transformational journey to help you take charge of your destiny and a journey through the lifetimes. Now, each episode of the show covers various themes of your journey, a mini guided meditation or angel card reading with the wisdom of my wonderful guests, like today's guest, Sophie Fox, who will be talking about Guided by Angels, a journey through life with the Archangels. Now, Sophie is a certified angel guide, past life regression and future life progression practitioner, angelic Reiki master, Indian head masseur, numerologist, creator of scented healing myths and founder of Angelic Energies. Sophie's biggest passion is to remind you that you are not alone, that you have a whole support team around you that is want to lift you up and help you live life above and beyond your dreams. With this in mind, she recently released her book, Guided by Angels, A Journey Through Life with the Archangels, that will help support you with practical day-to-day -day issues and uplift you in times of struggle. This is the ultimate spiritual toolbox packed with examples and different perspectives to lift us up to be the very best version of ourselves. With testimonials from her work such as, wow, Thank you so much for my treatment the other day. You created a relaxing environment in my own home and worked your magic. Soothing music and all the little extras just added to a superb treatment. I'm already looking forward to the next one. Thank you. And thank you, Sophie, for my treatment and card reading. Your healing hands took away the arthritis pain in one session. Also, I had an amazing night's sleep. Thank you again. So without further delay, hello, Sophie, and welcome to the Angels uh, and Destiny show. How are you today? Well, thank you, Ray, and thank you so much for having me. I, I feel very privileged to be here. I'm very grateful to you. Thank you. Brilliant. So before we get into this fascinating conversation, I want to remind you that you can also ask questions, leave comments and thoughts, as both Sophie and I want you to be part of this conversation. So please don't be shy and don't forget to share this um, if you think it will be of assistance to other people. So Sophie, why don't you tell us more about yourself and how the Archangels can help us through our journey in life? Um, yeah, well, um, oh, can you see? <laughs> yeah. Uh, guided by Angels, yeah. Um, as you rightly said, uh, I consider it um, an amazing toolbox of tricks um, to um, overcome the many difficulties that we're, we're all going through now more than ever. I think this book is is needed. Um, you know, I, don't, I, don't, I think it's quite fitting that it comes out um, at a time like this when we're in the middle of this pandemic and a lot of people, uh, you know, even those that have faith that it might be um, losing it or it's waning at the moment with all the struggles that we're, we're going through um, and I'm sure each and every one of us has had to confront issues um, you know across the board of instability and insecurity and feelings of isolation and um, separation and um, really, there is nothing more powerful to help us through this than the angels. Um, they are our connection, um, you know, to our, our truth, really. Um, and I think about angels, it's it's not so, question, so much of a question of learning about them. It's more a question of um, really remembering about them. Um, because I think really in our hearts, you know, we we feel that, we we intuitively know 
that love is real. Um, and they're there to inspire us to remember that, you know, unconditional, pure love is our true essence and to help us connect us back into that. Um, so, yeah, the book is, is really, um, I wanted it to be a very practical um, book reflecting day-to-day -day, um, issues that, you know, we could, we're all going through and we can all overcome. I didn't want it just to be, uh, you know, like another angel book and it's just be all theories. You know, it's, it's really quite down to earth and it tackles a lot of um, difficult issues. And, you know, my hope is that it will give people resilience, you know, um, and emotional intelligence as well. Um, just understanding really what they're going through um, and help, work, you know, working through issues, um, as I say, on a practical level. And yeah, I mean, my biggest passion really is to invite people um, to, well, to ask that people invite angels into their life in every given moment, um, you know, not just in the times when you're struggling. Uh, you know, it's a bit like um, you wouldn't wait until uh, your house is burning down until you sell smoke before you rang the fire brigade, would you? You know, <laughs> yeah. You don't need to wait till there's an emergency to ask for help. Um, they're never too busy to help you. You are their sole purpose. You know, and a lot of people don't realise that. You know, they they have feelings of unworthiness for whatever reason that um, you know they don't want to take the angels' time. But you know, you really are their sole purpose, and um, they're just waiting for you to ask because you know we are born into this world with um, you know being blessed with free will. And, and that's the thing, you know, we have to remember to ask for that help. Um, and it's always been one of my favourite sayings that if you don't ask, you don't get. And I just, <laughs> I've always been a bit cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, yeah. And it's, it's really just encouraging people to, to reach out. And, and I know that, yeah, they have this amazing, wonderful support team around them just you know, waiting to help. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, so how did you get in? You know, how did angels first first come first come to you? How did you first connect with them? Because I really can't remember how because because the angels just kind of like they just came in. There was no specific moment for me. It's just like they it, and it, it feels like they've been with me forever, but I yeah. didn't really notice until later in life. Yeah. Well, I. Yes, I can I can relate to that. And I, I think my awareness really started many years ago, um, watching people do, funnily enough, angel cards on YouTube. And, oh, it just brought such a comfort. Um, and, you know, the peace that they emanated, uh, it was really just the highlight of my week, um, watching those shows. And, you know, since... Being a young child myself, I have always been very sensitive to the energy around me, and I think that has predisposed me to, um, to be aware that you know there is more to life than what we can just see. Um, and actually, uh, I went on as an adult to um, attune to a Sui Reiki, uh, but I actually got my masters in angelic Reiki, and from there, you know, that really just opened up. The world of angels to me having that achievement and <clears throat> and then I actually became uh, a follower of Kyle Gray who's um, the UK number one angel expert so I've been training with him now for a few years and um, have now become a certified angel guide um, card reader and yeah so yeah it's been a wonderful journey it has and how did you get into uh, future life progression? Oh, 
with Annie Schirsch. Oh, yeah. I love her. She, she, she's just amazing. She, she is amazing. She's been a guest on my show twice already. Yeah, yeah. Um, a wonderful woman. I actually got into Future Life Progression because I loved her book so much. Her first book, um, Cosmic Energy, which I highly recommend to anyone. Um, it's a good book. It's it's a really amazing book. Uh, it's, it's one of my all-time favourite books. Um, and I just loved her style of writing. It was just so easy to read and humorous. And I, I really, really connected with that book. And I, um, I St um, I, I did her course to learn future life progression purely because I wanted to meet her because I loved her book so much. <laughs> and, and again, you know, that opened up another world to me. Um, and the power of future life progression. Oh, my goodness. I know. It, it's life changing. Absolutely life changing. You know, and the results I've had with it, just so transformational. And it, it's it's one of the things that you know I, I I love doing with a passion because it will just take somebody that is um, you know full of doubt and fear and uncertainty and they come out of it just elated and beaming and you know what I know what I'm going to do with my life you know and yeah. yeah so excited to to live it and yeah it's, it's really yeah. powerful stuff. Yeah, it, it is. It is. It is really powerful stuff. So you've got all these um, uh, mo modalities, to, um, for a better word, yeah. um, to use. So how do how do they all combine? How 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 did they come together to um, create your business? Really? Um, well, I offer the Future Life Progression um, and Angel Guide sessions online via Zoom. Um, so that's that's really quite nice because it's something I can do from home. Um, and uh, usually uh, when we're not under restrictions of movement, I'm going around mind, body, spirit fairs, um, promoting the Future Life Progression and the Angel Guide sessions, but also um, selling the scented healing mists that I make as well. Um, you know, that's, that's a really big part of my business. And now... I, I shall be including the book as well. Yes, yes. Um, so, 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 how did you? Um, what, what made you decide to write the book, or was it um, angelic guidance, or was it just synchronicities, or something that's always been in the back of your mind? Well, I, actually, I think the start of of it was through the healing sprays, actually, um, because I, I create. Um, they're like aura sprays for space clearing and um, cleansing your aura. And they come with a little booklet with uh, information about each archangel and affirmations as well. Um, but I really wanted to be able to expand on that, you know. Um, I, that just kind of s sparked my interest of knowing the specialities that each archangel um, can offer us. Um, but, yeah, so it was through that really wanting to expand on being able to share that knowledge with people. And then, um, so the book actually came about um, over the last couple of years, um, every month I've been doing uh, um, an, uh, angel guide sessions, um, oh no, sorry, angel, angel guide gatherings. Um, so uh, yeah, we, I didn't, I pick a different topic each month and it was vast and varied, uh, everything from attracting the perfect partner, overcoming anxiety, um, manifesting, you name it, you know, and each month, you know, we'd discuss, we'd discuss this with the group and we'd do beautiful guided meditations and angel cards, of course. Um, and eat cake because you have to eat cake. Yeah, of course, that's my excuse. <laughs> but, um, cake. Yeah. So, so really, the book came about as a collaboration um, of, you know, a couple of years worth of these gatherings. Really, yeah, yeah. So, so what sort of guidance, do, um, you know, can the uh, can the archangels help help us with on a daily basis? Uh, 
Um, I, oh, so, really, so if I was to go into your into it, so into the book, and could I just pick any page, or would I have to look for a specific archangel or a specific issue? Yeah, it, I mean, it really just depends what you're going through. If if there was a certain, um, you know, a scenario that you are struggling with, you know, ha have a look through and 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 pinpoint that certainly. Um, you know, if you're just wanting general guidance. Um, I've started doing this actually, just and, and not just my book, but all all books. Just if I've got a question, and this is just tapping into your intuition now, into you, you know, you're opening up your third eye, but and trusting that the guidance that's going to come through is is going to be right, and it it always is. It's amazing. It's just like using the angel cards, you know, they're always spot spot on, aren't they? Um, so yeah, you can do the same with the book. You just Ask your question, focus yourself, ground yourself, open it up at a page and and look at that page, be draw, see where your eye is drawn to and your answer will be there. It's amazing. Um, yeah. And I, but angel cards, I have to say, they are my number one favourite way of, of getting guidance from the angels. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I just love them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I love angel or um, oracle cards um, mm -hmm. as, as well because yeah, they can give you so much clarity um, and and focus on your okay. everyday life. Yeah. So how many are how many archangels have you got in the? Are you working with in the book? Um, in the book, I have just gone with sixteen um, of the most well known ones. I mean, there are millions, billions of angels out I know. there. Uh, but you know, it it is a, a pretty thick book, and uh, I could have been writing it forever, to be honest. But uh, so no, we we just stuck to sixty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I mean, with the angelic Reiki your um, achievements and that, you know, when you when you have the chin with all the your um, what was um, was it thirty odd. Um, mm. Oh, okay, angels, and that's that's is only a a small minority yeah. um, of 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 them there. And I like the way that that um, you said earlier, and it's something that a lot of people do um, have do if they're going to talk to angels. Is they they do it um, if they've got you know something something happening in their in their life, and it's mm -hmm. kind of like, oh, can you help me? Whereas, yeah, um, you know, yeah, talking to your angels. I mean, I speak to my angels every day, yeah. morning, evening, mon mundane conversations. Yeah. I'll, I'll and also happen. as well, I, um, you know, little signs as well that just help me uh, say like if I see an ambulance whizzing by, I'll always say, you know, may, may the angels be with you. Um, and so if I'm in pain, uh, you know, um, I'll ask Archangel Raphael for healing. Um, if This is the beauty of kind of knowing um, a little bit more about what each angel specializes in, because then you can um, tap into that one Archangel and it's much more powerful, I think. It's, it's, it's like the same if, um, if you're in a group of people and you say, oh, can somebody help me, you know, do this? You might get a response, but, you know, if you asked one p particular individual, it's going to be much more likely, isn't it, and much quicker. So, um, yeah. Uh, so, for example, if I'm running late, um, I'll say, Archangel oh, Metatron, can you freeze time for me? <laughs> <You know? laughs> it's just nice to have these little tips up your sleeve, you know. <laughs> yeah. A little bit easier. <laughs> Yeah, and 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 they always, always, always work. Mm, mm, yeah, it's um, and you know the joy and and the peace that they've given me. It's just, it's been, uh, you can't put it into words, uh, you know. And and that's really what I want to share with people, and really what I want people to be able to feel, um, as well. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. it's powerful stuff. So, so with the um, archangels and they help us through um, our, our journey um, in in life. Um, if if some you know if someone was to have a specific 
um, issue that they can't remember which archangel it is. Can they just call no, on any any yeah, archangel? It yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, um, just no, just to ask the angels. Full stop. Yeah, um, yeah. You'll you'll still get a response. They'll still still hear you and uh, be there for you. Yeah. Yeah. So, so in the book, how 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 do people connect to the to the archangels? Um, well, throughout the book, um, you'll find meditation, um, and actually, as an extra special treat, I've recorded those me uh, those meditations. So, when you have the book, you're able to go onto a private page on my website, and you can you can listen to them um, on audio as well. Um, and I think, yeah, if I was to give people um, advice on, on how best to connect to you angels, that would be my number one meditation. <laughs> meditation, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, we, we yeah, we, we, we like guided med we like guided meditations. We like cards and we like guided meditations. Mm -hmm. Um and Okay, I'm going to put you on the spot here. Oh gosh. Because I, I, I have things, I do things like this. How about doing us a very quick five minute guided meditation to connect with um, an angel or an archangel or just angels or archangels in general? Okay. That's fine. Um, I haven't got any music prepared. Uh, um, mu to be quite cheerful, music sometimes distorts anyway. So um, I, th I think um, those, those watching are normally in a quietish space anyway. And if they're watching the replay, they can always um, put, put on some music. So um, let's just go, go with, with the words. Okay. I'm going to just have a quick flick through. Let's do the healing the heart meditation. Yeah, I like yeah. the sound of that one. Yep. Okay. So with your eyes closed, just place one hand on top of the other straight over your heart. And your heart is located right into your sternum in the center of your chest. So breathing in. Just become aware of the energy of your heart. And your heart has its own energetic signature, along with every other organ in your body. And you can learn to recognize this, just as you would with a loved one, by how it makes you feel. So right now, recognize this unique energy of your heart. And start to contemplate that your heart has its own individual being and connect now with it and feel the special energy that it has. Now imagine that it is living, breathing, being that has its own personality. And this is a being that you can always rely upon one that you know always has your best interests in mind, like your North Star, always guiding you to what is true. Now, ask yourself, what does your heart want? What does your heart dislike? How does your heart feel? Does your heart feel appreciated and loved? Or does it feel ignored and undervalued? Just take some time now to be with your heart, exactly as it is, right here and now, without you needing it to be any different. And you intuitively know how to communicate with your heart. And there is no right or wrong way. It is part of you. Constantly working hard to ensure your survival. 
So now take a few minutes to get to know your heart a bit better. Just begin by asking four very important questions. What makes you unhappy? What do you need me to do differently? And if you could have one wish, what would it be? And what do you have to tell me? And you will receive the answers on an intuitive level. Either you will hear the answers, or you will see them in your mind's eye, or you know the answers as they will pop up in your consciousness. Just take a few minutes to reflect on the concerns your heart has expressed to you. Acknowledge in your mind's eye that you value its perspective, its wants and needs. And give your heart the reassurance it needs that it wishes and its wishes to be expressed will be fulfilled. Keep in mind that this is not something that can be accomplished in one go. It might, for example, be a lifetime of change that your heart wants you to make, or a lifestyle change. So once you feel that you have reached a place of understanding with your heart, take some time to express gratitude to your heart for its particular purpose of working so hard to keep you alive. Visualize now that the gratitude and love are flowing into your heart. Imagine that this energy has been soaked up by the heart and then pumped through the rest of the body. Imagine that love diffusing through all the capillaries, blood vessels, arteries and veins into every other organ. The heart is carrying the love there throughout the totality of your being. Imagine that love soaking into each organ and every tiny little cell. Just before you're ready to come back into the room, if you feel ready, make a promise to your heart that you will always be available to talk. Promise that you will fulfill its wishes, that you agree with its perspective, because you acknowledge the fact that it represents the truth of your being. And now, take four deep breaths, inhaling the oxygen completely into your lungs and allowing the oxygen to exit your lungs completely. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And one more time. Inhale and exhale. And now you can wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, come back into this room and open your eyes. Oh, that was wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. That was absolutely lovely. And whilst um, everyone's um, getting themselves back into the room, if you feel you want to um, share your experience, leave any comments or ask any questions, then please feel free um, to do that and we, we will answer those um, for you. That was, that was really lovely and relaxed and I feel so chilled out and my heart's just going boom, 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 boom. Well, I, I think, do you know what? I think that's one of the secrets to communicating with the angels is actually learning to listen to yourself, you know? Um, and the more we can be aware of 
of what is needed um, for ourselves. You know, the more the more we can be aware of the angels around us. Um, how often do we stop and and take time to tune into ourselves? You know, very rarely, most of us. <laughs> you know, there's, there's always something to do, uh, to do list to tick off, and um, and it's, it's it's important actually just to make that time to to check in and yeah, yeah. get on track. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, we we don't we don't we don't um, uh, do that quite quite often, and for ourselves. So as an extra treat, not only have we had a guided meditation by Sophie, but we're also going. She's also going to pull an angel card for us, and I'm also going to pull an oracle card, and we'll see what guidance um, they they want to uh, give everyone who's watching this show. As usual, when I do my cards, it's for what we all need to know for our highest good at this moment in time. Whoa. And that one decides to jump out on us. Okay. I've got two cards. <laughs> Ooh, I, I like that. Um, okay. Well, the, the card that, that came out for, that came, that jumped out was discovering truth. You stand in the light of truth. Mm. What, is, what deck is this? This is um, Sacred Traveller Oracle cards. Oh, it always fascinates me, actually, what what decks people use, having a huge big basket full of cards myself. Yes. <laughs> I've, 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 I, yeah, but I've, I've, got, I've got quite a few, but I, I tend to use these... Um, so, yeah. so what cards um, came? Um, so I'm using the uh, angel, angel. Oh, I can't get used to the camera, angel tarot cards. Um, and the first one I got was, oh, we go, we'll do, oh, we go, you can That's see. It. Uh, King of Water. Um, and your, oh, it says, open your heart and mind to those around you. Um, so the King of Water, he is like the natural counsellor um, and, you know, someone that you can um, really go to for advice, um, a very compassionate being, and also indicates charity work as well, um, you know, so it suggests volunteering for charity work. Uh, so, yeah, if the, you might be whoever's listening that that person who is is giving um, trusted advice right now, or you might be receiving it, um, and then we also have the Ace of Earth, and uh, this is a beautiful card: the inflow of abundance, a promising new business venture, um, because the Earth um, it's all about material security. Um, the water cards uh, are all about emotion. Um, but yeah, the earth cards, um, material security. So yeah, you could be starting a new business venture right now. And, um, you know, it, it's it's a, it's a really brilliant idea if you are. Um, it's or, or just creating something. Um, yeah, so it's, a, it's an exciting time. And also uh, talks about um, important documents or contracts being signed right now as well. So, yeah, two beautiful cards. They are. And with, with the discovering truth, you stand in the light of truth. It, it, it is kind of like... They all it, marry together, they, don't they? They all, they all marry absolutely perfectly um, and together. And that when you stand in the light of light of truth you can do all the work you're supposed to and you can have all that abundance actually mm. coming in, mm. in 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 into your into your lives mm. and especially at this moment in time um you know you said it's perfect that your book came out with well, this card came out as well discovering truth standing standing in, in the light of truth yeah so yeah i let's see see that's why i like it when i have other people that read cards and that on the show as well because it the, the cards just always marry up it's so absolutely amazing mm -hmm. um, yeah. I, I i just i just love the way that that works 
Yeah. And actually on the back of um of writing this book, uh I've been making the most of this downtime with uh self isolation and I've created my own um deck of angel cards as well, guided by angel oracle cards. So oh. yeah. So they're they're being printed as we speak and should be ready in November. Um but I'm really excited to work with those. That's um yeah. Yeah, oh, that's going to be brilliant. Yes, I, I always love it when 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 I know people that are bringing out their own their own cards. It's like, yeah. Ooh. yeah, you'll have to let me have your address. I shall send you some. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, de def, def, definitely. The, yeah, yeah, I, um, yeah. I, I love seeing all new new mm. cards um, come out. So, so everyone, you know, be 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 on the lookout for for the cards and I'll post um in November when I know they've been released I'll post a link oh, um so you. so that you can you can go and um, check them out thank you and obviously the, the book's been released as well so you, you can you you you, you can um you can uh, you can uh, purchase the book yeah. um and have your own own daily guidance so Sophie do you have any insights or thoughts to leave our viewers uh, um Really, uh, you know, just just remember that you've got this whole support team around you, please, um, and and don't be afraid to ask for that help. You, they're always there. They're always listening, um, and even even when you you don't think things are are working out for you, just trust that the universe really does have you back, and. You know, even if you're going through the darkest times right now, um, it, it's it's just the universe's way of shifting you, realigning you, so that you're back on the path for your highest good. And so, yeah, it's, I just really want to encourage people to trust right now if they're struggling. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. So everyone, I hope you've enjoyed this and found it insightful and the words of wisdom Sophie has given you will help you further in your journey. So Sophie, if people want to connect with you, how do they do that? Uh, probably the easiest way is to go to my website, um, angelicenergies.co.uk. And uh, on the bottom of the home screen there, there is links to all my social media sites. I'm on Facebook, um, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn. Um, yeah. Uh, and I think you're going to be kind enough to put some links as well, aren't you, on the bottom? I am. Yes. Yeah. So I'll, I'll, I'll put a, um, a post with, so you can just literally click on the links and go. And 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 go and go to them. Save you having to search them out, and you just click and. Yeah, thank and, you. It's appreciated. And, ah, you're welcome. Yeah. So no. every so everyone, I hope you enjoyed the show. And if you have reached that crossroads in your life and need help um, finding your destiny and taking uh, getting clear on your path, then I would love to be that guide for you. Please feel free to reach out and connect with me, and we can arrange a free twenty to thirty minute video call. Um, to see how I can help you uh, take charge of your destiny. And of course, if you're looking um, at getting away and a chance to learn more about yourself, then I am running the four-day retreat down in Glasgow in October. Um, so there's a couple of places left, um, but you need to get in, in quick for those. What date and is if, that? Do you know? Um, that is going in October. That is, she says, got my trusty diary here. Uh, the ninth to the twelfth. Is it right? I, I might make a note of that. <laughs> <Just Ooh. absolutely. laughs> oh, it, it is. We're, we're literally going down to um, Glastonbury. Um, I, I know Glastonbury pretty well, right. and we're literally connecting with Mary Magdalene, um, Saint Germain, um, possibly Merlin, the dragons, wow. and just going back in time, forwards in time, just really finding out. Um, about 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 yourself um and enjoying the enjoying the time um down there and connecting with with the energy which is absolutely beautiful at the moment mm -hmm. um down down there so so yeah um, please feel free to um check that out yeah and of course the angel wings membership community is now is now open so um if anyone's watching this and um, wants a chance to uh join a community 
where we work with Ascended Masters, Archangels and Oracle cards to spread your wings and grow, then please um, check that out. And thank you so much for watching this show. Um, and I'd like to invite you to share this video as I'm sure there are more women who feel lost and want to get clear on their destiny just like you. And if you're watching this um, on the YouTube, please subscribe and hit the um, bell to be notified when the show goes live in the future. And do check out um, Sophie's links. And if you get a chance to um, get the book and then the cards, please do um, to, to get them. And I look forward to you all joining me again, same time, same place next week. And again, thank you so much, Sophie, for um, being on the show. It's been absolutely brilliant. And thank you for the guided meditation. It was absolutely wonderful. Thank you. Oh, absolute pleasure. It was brilliant. So everyone have a wonderful week and I'll speak to you all next week. Bye.